Hey, it's John again, and we're going to talk about deploying that backup in GCP. First thing you got to do is the marketplace, look for that backup, open it up, and you're going to get to the launch page. Now, the launch page is going to have you know, everything you really need to know about the deployment, the documentation, there's quick start guides and all sorts of things like that. But honestly, the launch is pretty easy. You click on launch, and it's going to bring you right to the launch page. It's just a single web page. You fill out this form, essentially, to get your server going. Uh, you pick the name you want and zones and machine types. I'm just going to pick a modest size. I mean, this is just a little demo. Uh, go in here and uh, you can pick the disk types you want. Play around with sizes that you, you know, you based on your criteria you looked at. Um, and then you specify networking. Now, for, for this case, I'm just going to have this system pretty well locked down. But if you want to allow traffic from the in Internet, please don't leave it wide open, right? Put in a source range that you'll accept requests from and put that maybe with your, you know, maybe your on-prem data center, your lab or whatever. Um, always make sure that you have a secure firewall rules to make sure your system is protected. After that, it's pretty straightforward. You got a you know, master server name you want to put in there, a media server name you might want to have, a domain name that you can use. I'm just using a little test one. Um, and if you have a hosted zone to add it to, just tell it what it is. If not, tell it what you want it to make. And then after that, all you're going to need to put in is a license key and your usage insights key. Just paste those in there. And that is everything that you need there. Um, now, once you go down and hit deploy, it's going to start things off and it's going to set that up. So deploying now is going to go in a moment to the deployment page, which will it will show the progress of the deployment. This works pretty quick on GCP. So it's uh, setting up the instance. It's going to have this VM. It's going to deploy it. It's going to set up those, uh, you know, domain DNS rules that you, you know, firewall rules you created. All those sort of things are going to put up um, and be there to run. Now I'll tell you when this gets done. You wait a second or so. Let it uh, let it wait a couple minutes. Make sure the the installation is finished. And in the meantime. Um, Something you do here is add a add a web admin. So add, add that guy in there, create the user, change the password for him, put new password in, that sort of thing. Uh, make sure he's set with those credentials, the secure credentials you want to use. And then you run this command, bp and baz add rbac principal. Once you do that, um, you'll be able to go and log in as that user uh, through the web browser. To do that, just click on visit the site and it should load that right up. There we go. There's the net backup web UI is coming in. Log in as that user, put in those credentials you created, and then you just need to click sign in and give it a second to log in. There you go. You're ready to go and use NetBackup running in GCP. So we covered adding NetBackup deployment in GCP and adding a web admin user. Thanks a lot. It's John Hink. It's been great talking to you and have a great time with NetBackup.